Hello, gentlemen. Today, in this video, we'll be discussing the derivation of the equation for a line which makes the negative angle. When the hypotenuse is dipped downwards from the base, it's called negative angle. So, let's draw a line which makes the negative angle, cutting the y axis at constant. So, we'll derive the equation for that. So here we have drawn a line with a negative angle and we will derive the equation for that. It cuts the x axis at minus 6 and the y axis at minus 3. Now we will try to find out the value of y at any arbitrary point. We have chosen the x to be plus 5 here and we will try to find out the value of y at point A in the right angle triangle CBA. y at the point A will be equal to the total length EA and EA is the total value of EB plus BA. Now EB is equal to the constant, the line cuts the y axis, so it can be written as C and B can be written as BA by BC into BC. C should be written as negative value. So let's write it as minus C. And BA by BC is nothing but the ratio of the perpendicular by the base. BA is the perpendicular and the base is BC. And that is nothing but coefficient of the variable x. BC is the x value variable. So we can write minus a coefficient of the variable x. So that is equal to minus a into x minus c. So we can write the value of the y to be equal to minus a x minus c. So we will write this value for a certain variable and see whether it is correct or not. A would be equal to perpendicular by the base. That is equal to by the rule of the similar triangles or the triangle ODC, the similar side of the BA is equal to OC minus 3. So that is minus 3 upon length of the BC. BC is positive. So we can write it as BC to be the proportional side in the right angle triangle ODC that is equal to plus 6. Even if it is in the negative side, in the triangle BCA, the BC is positive. So the amount of the BC has to be written in positive sign. So that is minus 3 by 6. That is equal to minus half. So we will put this value of the A in the equation for the line y. Let's take one example and see what value we get by the application of the a which is taken to be minus half. So let's take one variable. We we'll take the value of x to be plus 5 at point e. y is equal to, we we'll put the value of a to be minus half. Minus half into the x that is 5 minus the constant that is minus 3. This is equal to minus 2.5 minus 3. This is equal to minus 5.5. We will see in the graph whether the value of minus 5.5 is correct or not. If we extend the line from A to the y axis, it is minus 5.5. So the equation is correct. So we can write the coordinates of the x and the y axis as x axis is 5 and the y axis is minus 5.5. So we can write here 5 and minus 5.5. Let's try 
for some other values of x. Let's see whether the value of the constant is correct or not when you put the value of x to 0. If it is 0, the first term that is 0. So it is 0 minus c that is equal to 1, 2, 3. Okay. So it is correct. And for point D, x is equal to minus 6. So y would be equal to minus half into x minus 3. That is equal to minus half into minus 6 minus 3. That is equal to plus 3 and minus 3. That is equal to 0. So it is correct. The y is 0 here. So we can write minus 6 and 0. So the equation is working. That means the equation is correct. Let's see for some other values. Let's say taking the value of x to be minus 15. At x is equal to minus 15, y is equal to minus half into minus 15 minus 3. That is equal to plus 7.5 minus 3. That is equal to plus 4.5. So let's plot it. You can see here y is varying into 4.5. It's just a drawing error. So we can write 4.5. So the coordinates of this point is x is minus 15 and y is 4.5. So finally, the formula for the tan is y is equal to minus half into x minus 3. So the formula of the line is minus half into the variable x minus 3. This one. We have covered the derivation of the equation for the lines making positive angle and also negative angle with the positive constant and the negative constant. So this is the final derivation of the line in generalized form which makes the general formula for the line in the graph. So this is all for this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you want to know the interesting facts and the and the other interesting topics. Put your comments in the comment section and your suggestions on which I can make the videos. So till the next video, take care of yourselves, see you soon in the next video, bye bye.